So over the past 34 days, I've transformed my Etsy print on demand store from looking like this to looking like this. A sprawling boutique of uniquely designed t-shirts that once I open up shop has the potential to make me as much as six figures or more per year. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did this as well as how I plan on scaling this business to be a six figure business. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to replicate my exact steps for yourself to go and start your own successful print on demand work from home business. Now, this video is technically a part three of an ongoing print on demand series that I have on my channel where we use a service called Printify combined with Etsy to create an automated print on demand business. And I'll be sure to include this video in a playlist of all the other videos so that you can watch all of them in chronological order. So if you're brand new to this concept of uh, print on demand, basically it's just a business model that allows you to start making money with close to zero upfront costs. What you do is use a print on demand service such as Printify to create products that you can then sell on sites like Etsy. And for the most part, everything about this business is automated. You don't have to handle any physical products, it costs close to nothing to start, and you don't even need a website. Because you can just take advantage of a website called Etsy that gets close to 580 million visits per month. And if you could just capture even a tiny, tiny portion of that traffic, then you could easily earn well over six figures per year. And in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about, how to capture a piece of that audience. So first things first, I wanted to briefly talk with you about all of my products and how I sort of approached my designs. Because if you recall, well, for my last video about print on demand, I talked about how to come up with designs, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do for my print on demand Etsy store. Because what I noticed was that all of the top t-shirt sellers on Etsy were selling these text-based graphic t-shirts. Now, sure, there are plenty of other t-shirt sellers on Etsy who are, you know, getting tens of thousands of sales by selling these more like uniquely designed t-shirts. And we could hypothetically use AI to generate all the artwork for us. And this is definitely an option to consider for yourself, but for me, I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And so I settled with these text-based graphic t-shirts. And I'll even give you my secret for how I came up with all the text on the t-shirts, like the actual sayings and phrases themselves. All I did was use AI. I simply went to ChatGPT and asked the AI to give me clever phrases to put on t-shirts. And the responses that it gave me were, well, they were actually really great. I then asked the AI to give me different variations of t-shirt phrases. For example, instead of having it give me clever phrases, I asked it to give me funny phrases. And once again, the responses it gave me were actually really good and definitely t-shirt worthy. I then took all of the phrases that I liked and I began using Canva, which is free by the way, to come up with the actual text-based designs. Or you could just skip a step and simply use Printify's built-in t-shirt building tool. And also, here's another secret that I'll give you. If you can't think of any designs for the t-shirts, like how it's actually going to look, you can take any of these phrases into ChatGPT and ask the AI to give you a t-shirt design idea for the phrase. And when you do this, the AI will literally give you a detailed idea of what the t-shirt could look like. I mean, it's honestly pretty remarkable, but this is exactly how I came up with all of my designs. And then I just used all of Canva's free fonts and free images to create the actual designs. I then exported all of these designs as PNGs, where I then uploaded them into Printify to prepare my shirts. And just in case you don't know when you connect your Etsy shop to Printify, which you can do once you're logged into your account by going up here to the top and clicking on this drop down and then clicking on add new store. You'll then just click on Etsy and make the connection. And so now every single time somebody buys something from your Etsy shop, the order will automatically be routed to Printify who will then manufacture and ship the product for you without you having to do any work. Now you might be wondering, but Joshua, how exactly does this connection work between Printify and Etsy? For example, I noticed that all of your t-shirts on your Etsy store have different size and color variations. How exactly did you do this? Well, conveniently enough, within Printify, before you actually begin designing your t-shirts, you'll be able to select which provider you want to go with. And what you'll notice here is that different printing providers have different size and color variations for their t-shirts. And so if I know that I want to have a lot of different size and color variations, then I'll start designing t-shirts with a provider that has more options while also taking into consideration the cost to ship, the 
average production time and the location of the provider. And then after you designed your t-shirt, you'll have the option to add new size and color options as well as the pricing for each size to help control your profit margin. Now, if you don't already have a Printify account, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. Click on that link to sign up and get started and then just continue watching this video because what we're gonna do next is I wanna show you my exact plan to start bringing traffic and potential customers to my Etsy shop so that I can actually start making money. And the first way that I plan on getting customers to my Etsy shop is just through organic search traffic. And we can do this by optimizing our product listings for SEO. And let me show you exactly how to do this. So if I were to go to Etsy and then type in t-shirts into the search bar, I want you to notice what's happening directly underneath the search bar here. Etsy is giving us suggested searches. And the reason this is so important is because the only reason Etsy is giving us these suggested searches is because these are things that people are actually searching for every day. And so let's just use our down arrow key to select the suggestion t-shirts for women. And before we even press enter, what we're gonna do is actually press the space bar. And when we do this, Etsy will give us even more search suggestions. And again, the only reason Etsy is suggesting these searches is because these are things that a lot of people are searching for on a daily basis. And so let's just say, for example, that we selected this option here, t-shirts for women with sayings. What do you notice about the search results? Well, you might be saying, Joshua, they're showing us t-shirts with sayings on them. What's the big deal? And you're not wrong. Because we searched for t-shirts with sayings, that's exactly what Etsy is showing us. Here's what I want you to pay attention to though, okay? The only reason that t-shirts with sayings popped up when we searched that phrase is because all of these t-shirt product listings contain one or more of the words from the search. Take a look for yourself. So the title of this t-shirt is funny saying shirt, funny shirt, shirt with saying, funny women shirt. These are all words that were included in our original search. Let's take a look at another example. I'm gonna search for t-shirts with cats. And when we search it, again, t-shirts with cats show up as a result. But the only reason they show up is because once again, if we look at the titles of these products, all of them contain words from the search within their title, right? So t-shirts and cats. And so what's the point of all of this? Why am I showing you this? Well, because this is exactly how you get free or organic traffic to your Etsy products. Whatever you're selling, whether it's, you know, t-shirts or hats or wall decor, whatever, before you actually start selling that thing, the first thing I want you to do is go to Etsy and type in the name of that product into the Etsy search. Then press the space bar and Etsy will give you suggestions on what people are searching for based on that product. Because then you're gonna go and create designs around these searches and then create the actual product within Printify and then publish it to Etsy. And again, for your Etsy listings, you wanna make sure that you stuff as many relevant words into your titles as possible for whatever search that you want your product to appear for. And there's other things like the listing tags, attributes, the product description. All of these things need to contain the right words based on whatever you're trying to rank for. And so for example, if you're trying to rank for uh, t-shirts with cats, then you wanna make sure that the word t-shirt and cats are in your product title, description, your tags, and as many things as possible. And what you'll notice about my Etsy print on demand shop is that I'm doing this with all of my product listings, making sure to add as many relevant keywords into the product titles, the descriptions, and then on the back end of the product, adding relevant tags. And all of this will help my product to rank higher when people are searching for certain terms on Etsy. Also, just as a really quick bonus, there's actually this completely free Chrome extension that you can install called eTags uh, Etsy Tags Extractor. And basically what this does is after you install it on your browser, you can go to Etsy and then click on the products from your competitors. And this extension will show you the exact tags they're using to rank their products for certain searches. And we can copy these tags and apply them to our own products if they're relevant. Also, Printify has an entire article about Etsy SEO and like how to get your products noticed on Etsy. And I'm gonna leave a link to this article down in the description below. Now, after optimizing my Etsy product listings to increase the free organic traffic I'm getting to my products, something else that I'm gonna implement that I think will help my shop drastically gain traction is using Etsy paid traffic. Now, I know that you might hear the word paid and immediately wanna run away but just hear me out. Etsy paid traffic is a form of advertising on Etsy where you set a budget to spend money with Etsy for them to show your listings at the very, very top of search results pages. Let me give you an example. So if I were to search something like pillow covers, the first four listings at the very top up here are all paid ads. And we know this because it literally says ads by Etsy seller right here. These sellers are paying Etsy to have their listings at the very top. And what's good about this is they're only paying Etsy when somebody actually clicks on the listing. And so if no one ever
never clicks on your listings, then you'll never actually have to pay a penny. Now, the amount of money that you'll have to pay for these Etsy ads really depends on how competitive your niche is. If you're selling products in a very non-competitive niche, then you'll probably only have to pay like 10 cents per click or something. On the other hand, if you're in a super competitive niche, then you'll probably have to pay a little bit more money every single time somebody clicks on your listing from the ad. Now, with all that being said, there are Etsy stores out there that have never run ads before ever, and they're still really successful and they still get a ton of sales. And this is because their listings are optimized, their product images look really good, and overall, the product that they're selling is just a good product. And so you don't have to run ads to be successful on Etsy, not at all. If you have extra money laying around and you just wanna spend money on ads to make your Etsy shop grow faster, then go for it. But I will say this, okay? If you do decide to run ads, then you wanna make sure that you have these three things in place first. Number one, you wanna make sure that your product listings are optimized. What exactly does this mean? It means making sure that you're using relevant and descriptive keywords in your titles and descriptions, as well as your tags. These keywords are critical because this is how people are gonna find you in the first place when searching for products on Etsy. Additionally, you wanna make sure that you have really good presentation on your products. This means your product images look good, uh, the descriptions are detailed, and overall, your product listings and your Etsy shop in general just look like a legitimate business. And number two, you wanna make sure that you have a decent inventory of products for customers to choose from. A lot of people shopping on Etsy might click on your ad, see your product, and think, wow, I like this. And many people will actually click on your profile to see what other products you have to offer. And if you only have like one or just a few listings, this might be a huge turnoff to potential customers because it'll be obvious that you're a brand new store with probably not a lot of experience. And unfortunately, even if you have a great product, the buyer is only gonna judge a book by its cover. And the cover of your book is that you don't have a lot of products and therefore I can't really trust you. And so I would say personally, you're probably gonna wanna have at least one full page of products before you start running ads. You can see here for yourself, that's exactly what I've done with my Etsy shop. And then finally, number three, you wanna make sure that you've set up Printify properly with your Etsy shop. Because when you start getting sales, you're gonna want them to immediately be sent to Printify where it'll then be manufactured and sent to your customer without delay. And again, we briefly talked about this earlier, how to make the connection between Printify and your Etsy shop. And I also talked about it in much greater detail in the last two videos that I made about print on demand, which again, I'll leave on a playlist on my channel. But if you've got these three things down and you really wanna expedite how quickly your Etsy shop is able to grow and become profitable, then running paid ads is a good idea. Now, I will be doing another video about this Etsy shop at some point soon. If there are any questions that you have after watching this video or even like the last two videos in the series, make sure to leave your questions in the comments below and I'll make sure to answer them in the next video. Hey, you're amazing and I appreciate you so much for being here. I mean that. And don't ever forget, you can accomplish anything you want in this life. I'm watching you. I believe in you. And as always, I'll see you again very soon. Take care.